Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got two um, diamond painted accessories, shall we say, um, that I've got from Amazon that I wanted to show you. So we'll do the little one first and then I'll show you the bigger one. Okay, so the little one is uh, whoop, some more of the metal tips for diamond painting. Now then, these came from, let me find the company. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to say this uh, shop. I will link it down below, but it's something like Dongshen Kua Man Fuzz Hang Diam. Um, yeah, I think they've tried to go for every letter in the alphabet in this shop name. I'm sure somebody will be able to pronounce it correctly, and I do apologise for not pronouncing it correctly. Um, but they were £15.99, so they were quite a high price. But what I've got is a single play set and a straightener. Okay, so we'll just have a quick look at these. And I, am, I will use them and let you know how I get on. Um, they're very heavy, you can hear. You know, they are metal, but this is a very, very heavy tip, and it is square edges on that one, so it'll fit in. And then it's a single place, actually, that's a square tip. Don't know whether you'd be able to pick that up. Yeah, that's it. There you are. Look, this is actually a square tip, so that's strange. I've never had a square tip. Uh, single placer before i can't imagine it will be any different to the round because i mean the tops of the squares are like round anyway so you're not really doing anything different but yeah so that's the single placer and then i just thought i do use straighteners quite a bit so i just wanted to get the straightener and this is quite a large one actually um let me just look at this and see yeah so that's a 10 if you can see there that's 10 drills so that's going to be about a 12 or a 13 drill it would straighten up. So that's a very large straightener. But I just thought, you know, I'd get give these a try. Um, I know there is a shop that does them um, in Australia. And I am going to get some of those as well. But I just wanted to try these. Um, and I didn't use a coupon. <laughs> I actually paid the 15 99 for these. So I will let you know if they're worth the money. Um... I will get them put into a pen and I will use them and we'll see how we get on with those. So that's just a little purchase that I've got there. Just thought I'd let you know. So there's, I think there's lots of places are copying um, the other store, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on with those. Okay. And then the other item is a wireless light pad. And if you're anything like me, I've been through several light pads because I've tripped over the cable or I've pulled the cable or Millie has decided to do zoomies up and down the living room. Millie's our little Scottish terrier. And as she's gone, she's caught the um, charger from my light pad and pulled it straight out and carried on. And they break just so, so easily. This is my old A3 light pad that I've just not been able to throw away and you normally have like your oops you normally have these very thin light pads you get them in A3, A4 and I've got an A5 one as well a really teeny tiny one and these little bits here break so easily because they get pulled out so they are I mean they are the cheaper ones that you get and they're great for the job but you've just got to be so careful with that end that you don't pull it out because they break so easily so i thought i would have a look at this rechargeable one okay so it does come in different colors um i believe i've got the black one i've not actually opened this up yet to look at it oh is this black or is it gray doesn't want to come out. Let me see how I can get it out of there. Pack it. Oh, oh. Okay. oh, it's quite thick as well. Okay, just move that out of the way slightly. Right, so, oh, I've got the grey one then. Mm. Oh, there isn't a grey on there. 
unless it's supposed to be white and it's just having a bad day. <laughs> um, it says it's uniform luminous, scale included, so that's good. It has got a scale on the uh, edges. I suppose if you're doing drawings and things like that, um, technical drawing, um, or if you do a Zentangle or anything like that, you've got your measurements. Uh, these aren't just for diamond painting. I know it's difficult to believe that people actually buy things that aren't for diamond painting. <laughs> We've got five levels of brightness, it's slim and portable, soft light eye protection and a charging available. Okay, so what else have we got in the box? We've got our instructions, the destruction list there which is good i'm pleased we've got a tiger on it you know how i feel about tigers um tells us professional tool for making cartoons and animations mainly composed of acrylic light guide plates and led bars okay so that tells us all about it we've got all your different um dimensions and everything here telling you so it's an A4 size um, and it just tells you all your different details. Okay. And then you have a charging cable. So how do we get into this bag? Oh, it's there. Okay. Let's have a look. I did, I mean, it is a smaller one, this, um, and I do normally use an A3. But to be fair, you only do sort of a small section of your diamond painting anyway. So it doesn't really matter what size your um, light pad is. It's just the area that you're working on that you need lit up. So you can use a smaller one um, and just use that really. I don't think you need the bigger one. Oh, nice long cable. Um, let's see. I don't think I can measure it. I don't think my yeah, tape measure is quite long enough, but we'll have a look. So we go up to that's 80 centimeters there, 31 inches. So let's see how far we go from there. Come back again. Sorry if you it's difficult trying to film this when it's such a long one and so we're 160 uh, I reckon we're about 170 centimeters which is 66 inches which is like two yards just over two yards so it's a good long cable which normally you don't get long cables which also helps um for you to destroy them when you trip over them because the cable's not very long if it's a bit longer and you catch your foot in it you tend not to pull it quite so much or maybe not <laughs> but this is uh, a tilted one like if you can see oh oh it's got a battery in it as well so you've got like a, a fatter end oh oh where's that touching then okay i'll have to work that one out so it's got like a fatter end here and it goes to a thinner end. So when you put it on your desk, it is tilted. So it's got um, a clear cover on it, which I'll leave on for now. So where does it actually switch on and off? Okay, let me get the instructions and see where it... Uh... Oh, it's up on the side. Ah, right, it's there. It's because I put it... Right, okay, so we've got your little... Uh, that's where you can charge it up, but this already has some charge. Um, so, right, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, you've got five levels and then off. So, that's good. Right, now I did get this on off. These come on off of, sort of periodically. Um, it is from the Elise UK store. I'll put a link down below. They advertise it at £27.99, but I got £20 off it, so I only paid £7.99 for this. Uh, I'm not sure why it was on that. I know people have got them cheaper. Some people have paid £11. Some people have only paid £6. It seems to 
suddenly go on offer and then it goes off and then it comes back on again so it's something to watch out for so i'll, I'll put a link to the one that i've got here uh, but I must admit i am impressed with this um, and i will be giving it a go and i think with it being this size it's quite nice to possibly take on holiday with you as well um because you you will be able to you know just take that in you i have like a to be honest i use a laptop bag for my diamond painting now i put my light pad in it and i put my drills in there um, and it just keeps everything together and it keeps your little canvas flat as well um or your bigger ones whichever one you take away with you but yeah so quite impressed with that and i've got a gray color rather than just um a black one which most of my other ones are okay well i think that's about everything i can tell you about this one as i say with the uh, little single placer and straightener i will use those and let you know how i get on so it's just a quick video to show you some extra bits that i've bought uh, to help with my diamond painting hope you've enjoyed seeing these if you have if you just give me a quick like down here and if you want to hear further reports on these i'll see what else i get up to then if you press subscribe and press the bell next to it then you'll be notified when my next videos come up but thanks for stopping by hope to see you all again soon bye for now